All right, so I'm gonna be taking a look at part two of the challenge submissions, and let me warn you, these look amazing. Um, I'm a little bit on, uh, I'm a little bit out of just bouncing off the walls because I had an iced coffee. I don't usually have coffee because of this, so I might be a little crazier today. I'm usually on just a very normal level. Right now, I'm I'm on I'm on like seven Estabrax in one right now. Okay, I'm on, I'm on after hours of Stabrak at the moment. I have no control or, or reign over what I'm about to say or do for the next hour and a half. All right, so these submissions are ridiculous. They're amazing. I love them. Um, but let me get started with some simple announcements describing what it is we do here. So if you want to join the community, go to istabrak.com. Click on the Reddit icon. The Reddit icon uh, is where we do everything here. So anything that you see on my desktop, any work, is all from this from this community. So <clears throat> if you guys want to submit work for critique, even just you know normal day to day studies that you have, submit them here. And then uh, any challenges that are upcoming, uh, as well as the contest poll and the contest uh, announcement, the judge winner and the poll winners, two winners for this challenge will be posted here at the top of the community. Um, as well as the next challenge brief uh, the description attached to it, I'll most likely do another narrative and another poll for the next weapon design. So this one was a bow. The poll was run three years ago <laughs> for the bow. I will do another uh, cool um, write-up around another uh, weapon that you guys will decide on, and I'll give you a number of them. Um, and then what we, what we will have, I might also veto it, I think I vetoed this poll three years ago because um, a lot of people, it was a tie between a bow and a spear um, uh, for the contest, for the character design. Um, I might do something, uh, it, might, it might happen again, I'm not sure, I'm not even going to have a bow in this one because we already did one. Um, I might do cool new weapons that we've never seen before, weapons that we don't usually see in characters. I feel like a spear is really boring, a sword is super boring. Probably the most boring weapon as a sword because we see it so often. Um, just like a really cool um, wushu weapon thing that we've never seen before or some kind of other uh, outdated but ancient style, um, ancient civilization style weapon um, that we've never seen. So it'll be really cool to run a poll for that and see what you guys pick. Of course they'll have pictures with it if possible. Um, all of that happens on the Reddit community, so join here. If you're having fun, if you're enjoying what you see in our class, if you want to support the community and you want to do it in a direct way, um, I don't work with any marketing or agencies or any like anything like that. Nobody really tells me what to do with my art. I don't sell my classes to anyone, um, and I will never shrink their length um, for any reason at all. I was put on this earth to teach art, and I will never, ever give you little footnotes and call it a class. Uh, so if you want to support me, um, you can uh, through Patreon. It's a direct way, and there's many price tiers for all financial brackets. Um, and that's it for announcements. Let's get started because it's a long class today. So uh, the brief, let me give you a quick rundown. It was a character who, who was a very normal, uh, like a human princess, who was picked out, uh, the daughter of a king out of a number of kings in the region, who was picked to become the guardian of the land after a great evil fell on the land. So the, the evil was 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 uh, galactic so she had to be ascended and taught you know this all this weaponry was poured into her mind and uh, and then she was des she descended back on the earth to her people and you're basically d drawing the moment where she is first uh, uh, where she first is revealed uh, you know came off uh, came down from the clouds and and, and just uh, we see her for the first time so it's a heroic display of the character it's a really cool league style splash high um render you know high just just uh what's the word like glory you know filled with glory and 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 all the shiny stuff i'm not good with my vocabulary today so you're uh designing the weapon and one of the requirements for the weapon is that it was it was incorporated into her body so her arm was designed to be able to wield the weapon since she is a human her body was rearranged or she was given an arm um, to, uh, to, to, to wield the weapon because the weapon is celestial, the weapon is godly. So um, you're supposed to incorporate the magic of the weapon on her, her person somehow. And I'm looking for all kinds of, uh, uh, you know, stuff. I'm looking for ingenuity, um, 
original uh, design, unique design, something we haven't seen before. We saw a bow last time, which was amazing. Um, there's a couple bows here, which are just ridiculous. Like the originality is unbelievable. And the two winners, will, one winner will be decided by me, not necessarily based off their skill, but based off their, you know, how much effort they put in and how much promise they have. They win private tutoring with me to help push their gallery and help, help them build a portfolio. This will most likely be a staple reward for upcoming challenges, contest challenges. Not every challenge will be a contest. Um, and it just depends on the time I have between my, my classes that are running and what I can offer for a semester and a free slot that hasn't been, that's vacant. And um, the second winner is a poll winner. They win based off the community deciding who they are. I decide who the five are, but the community decides the rest after that. <clears throat> so let's get started. This one is amazing. I, I love how rendered it is. I love how muted the jade is. Uh, some stuff that you could have done differently, so I, I usually critique these as much as I can, time permitting. Um, why is... yeah, 15 usually does amazing. Um, <clears throat> one thing that you've done is that you haven't really responded to the superior light source in any way. You are casting shadows off of it, but for some reason the areas that don't get shadow, that don't get light, are still illuminated the same amount as the areas that get light from the bow. You see what I'm saying? So things that don't get any light should not have, you know, you're value sharing, but with highlights. See that up here? Same values, really similar values down here. So what I'm going to do is grab the shadow color, darken it just a little bit more, cool it down a touch, and um, just kind of build around this so that we have a bit more definition on the bone structure. And I'm just finding the rib cage looking at my navigator to see if it's, you know, healthy. And basically what you do that for is that you're, you're, you're deciding on um, how big of a cast shadow to do, how much more to do. This arm should be casting a shadow as well. In fact, the arm would be casting a very long shadow moving down. <clears throat> and then you've got the shadow of the above belly area, and then you've got the whole abdomen and gut. Top of the hips might get a bit more shadow. This arm almost gets no light. You you have this breast area here lit up properly. The forearm might get a little more light um, because it's the cast shadow of the torso is is is, is um, just outlined on the upper arm. Um, the thigh area and the legs moving down. You had a good idea casting that shadow there on I don't know if it's a shadow or like mud in the legs or something but that really needs to uh, be cast or over here I'm not sure if this is what you meant when you, when you were doing that and then what I have a problem with is that this is so cool and so um, ornate, but the, 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 the arrow is just really, really simplified. So maybe you could have done something a little differently with the arrow um, and given us something more unique that way. Because it just seems like a really super simple arrow. It doesn't seem like it even reaches, like your arrows are shorter. I'm not sure what this space is for anyone who does archery. What's this space called? I forget it. The depth? I don't know. I'm just going to call it the depth. It's, it's, um... It's supposed to be paint on the legs, okay. A really bad choice of color because it just looks like shadow. So you could have done like something different with the paint, something that, you know, we would associate with someone of a higher class or nobility, like they dip their legs in the river sticks, but in like Aztec culture. So it means that she's technically dyed or something like that. You know, anything, any other color, even that jade green would have been enough just, just so it looks more like paint. And I think it rounds off the design really nicely too. Let me desaturate it just a bit. I think that looks pretty cool. And it kind of makes her look like she has subsurface scattering just there. I'm going to get the sponge tool and just apply it. And please, just like others have done, please feel free to, um, to, to apply these corrections yourself. That looks pretty cool. And it's kind of like the bones. And it's kind of the same set up there. And I'm just going to desaturate it a touch more and kind of make her feet look a little translucent. 
just letting some of that gray behind. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I forgot what I was saying before that. What was I saying before that? I forget. Doesn't matter. Uh, that arrow needs to be needs to fit in here. What was I saying before I did the the leg thing? Um, I, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> it's gonna bother me all day, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm gonna just fix that over here, and I might mess with levels a bit more, just because things are still pretty washed out, and it would be pretty cool for us to see some contrast here, and then we can talk the bow, the depth, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And then we can talk about scale because it feels pretty boring at the moment. And let me amend something. Last time when I kept saying mom bod, I wasn't trying to demean or or, or just like the, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, I wasn't trying to create or, or create like a derogative term or a derogative way of referring to the mom, mom bod. Um, so if I did that and I offended you, I'm sorry, but I didn't mean it in that way. Yeah. Just clear up that shitty lasso job I just did. But yeah, basically what I meant by mom bod is it makes sense that she would have saggy boobs um, because there's no bras back then. And so, but I'm thinking of it as an athlete's body. I feel like after being trained on a celestial level, right, taken up and training with the angels and learning, you know, you, you her body would be a bit more athletic, um, kind of like a pole vault body or you've ever seen those female athletes that they're not even like female anymore you know they just look so ma uh, masculine and athletic even outside of hormone they train so much they lose their period so that's kind of what I'm aiming for when I design her I don't want her to look like she's she she she's an Aphrodite I want her to look like a her uh, 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 an Artemis you know like a warrior princess or um, a goddess that's you understand what I'm saying so I don't want her to look like a mom bod like Aphrodite mom bod, big hips, like childbearing fertility goddess. You know what I'm saying? Fertility goddess is way more hefty than an Aphrodite is, as we've seen Aphrodites before. But uh, but I imagine in an age where it's, you know, the Aztec culture and everyone is starving, an Aphrodite would, would be like worshipped, you know, because they're just so rich, they're so bountiful. So I would be worshipped. <laughs> by the Aztec culture. I mean, I'm not, I'm not hefty, but I'm hefty-ish. Um, and I'm desaturating that a little bit right over here. And I'm going to saturate the, um, this part just so because it looks like gold and I want something else happening over here. I just keep digging a hole. The more I talk, the more of a hole I dig for myself. All right, scale. So one thing that I did do last time was exaggerate some of the curves just because not because I want to create the feeling of a, of a childbearing hips or anything like that uh, but because it was just a straight object last time it was just like a straight stick and that mostly comes from the fact that you guys don't really mess with a lot of lower body gesture <clears throat> I had to move the legs more than the arms last time if you guys remember that so something that looks a bit like, you know, like this for the back leg. It can mess up your hormones. What can? My period stopped coming for a bit when I was in intense training in the military. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, so that's the back leg, and she kind of looks like she's floating. I love that X-Men floating leg thing. That I love that. It looks so heroic. It looks so Justice League. But I also don't um, want both legs doing it. So let me at least do something with this leg here. This might be a long stream because I want to do, uh, uh, what's it called, just like this each time for each one. So what I'm trying to do here is... <clears throat> just do something else with the legs and I'm sure this would could have been an easy thing for you to do because you have your layers and all that and you probably considered it but if you didn't consider doing something different with the legs um, you know you, you need to amend that way that you you know you're thinking about um, 
gestures because if you went through all these different preparation stages and all you could come up with were two like legs why did the legs shrink i wonder their thighs shrunk a little bit and if all you could come up with was was you know really really simple two legs mirrored on either side you got to start doing some some figure drawings because that's not an acceptable kind of thing that you're doing right now with your with what, what you're planning how you're looking for references etc i'm going to increase the size of this thigh because it's just abnormally thin might have been me who shrunk it. I'm not 100% sure. And you'll just see in the before and after in a second. What that means. All right, and then you have this flesh colored part of the skirt, which is just bad design because I've, I've lost, you know, what you're doing here. I don't, I don't, I just, it just looks like there's no skirt and all we see is the, 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 the pelvis area or the hips. And then I'm going to try to fix what's happening here and raise that foot up into the back. Merge down. So now the scale is a little different. Now the whole you know thing is balanced. And one thing you can mess around with scale wise is the head. Because if that's how big the head is with the helmet on, how small is the head with the helmet off, you know? It must be just crushed in there. So just a little bit bigger would go a long way to making this um, make sense. So that was tiny. All right. Um, so I'm going to mess with the levels now, um, which I didn't do enough of. And that's just darkening everything. Just, just kind of do it going all the way and going back to zero and just understanding that it was too light before. So like fix your eye, sorry, fix where you're where you are in your eyes by going too dark so that when you go back, you see, wow, that was washed out. Um, so I think like here is fine. It's acceptable level of contrast. And then I'm going to just mess with the brights a little as well. And then now that everything is darker, what I'm going to do is go back to before I did that. And then just erase away with the soft brush and anything the light touches just to make sure that we still have a really healthy separation between areas that are lit up and areas that are not. Yeah, it, it's, it happens. It'll happen. The head being too small and all that, it'll happen. And one thing you could do, which is pretty cool, is to just cast the shadow of the arm right over top of everything. Um, so just put that on darken. So it's kind of just the shadow of the arm moving down. Simple line, soft brush, nothing serious. When do, once you understand the nature of cast shadows, they're no longer intimidating. How do you understand the nature of cast shadows? Do form studies and practice them. I wasn't born with this knowledge. I didn't ascend into the heavens and had a bunch of knowledge poured into my brain and then descended back and spooked my mom, all right? I didn't do that. I did form studies. I know it may seem like I'm an, I'm I am anointed, <laughs> but <laughs> I know I'm amazing, but I'm joking. All right. Let me just fix that weird ass tangent right there. That's my fault. Do your form studies, y'all. Just like one a week. Come on. Come on. Just one a week. All right. I didn't do much with these legs. I, 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 I need to do more than that. But I tried to at least bend the leg and do something different. But I, I really would have 
if it was me drafting it, I'd have made one leg kind of bending up this way and then the other leg behind. Um, or maybe just like a full forward bend like that and then the leg behind it. Um, something like this also might have gone a long way, just a little bit more heroic. Um, one leg forward, one leg back, kind of like a walk. All kinds of different things you could have done other than just like that. Um, but I, you probably wanted to make it seem like she was just trailing. Um, and that's pretty cool too in its own way. Uh, just exhaust all your options because this is the moment she comes down. This is the league splash. This is that legendary character. Um, you want to do something where everything, every part of them is legendary. The legs are legendary. The, 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 the gesture is legendary. The, the, everything, the arm is doing something cool. The fingers are doing something cool. The, 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 all the colors are saturated as much as possible. Best shadows, best highlights, multiple light sources. You're on exhibition mode right now. If this was supposed to be subsurface scattering, subsurface scatter, the qualifying factor is that the shadows are glowing. Write that back to me. You guys don't understand subsurface enough. And the second one is that it's saturated. So the light is going through and saturating. And then one thing else that needs to really be, I know I don't have decent versions of these. I'm not sure what happened, but Reddit's been screwing with file formats and all that web shit so um i'm at the boomer age now where i just don't want to learn anything new about i don't want to know about what the heck a web file is i don't even know where that spawned from i don't know from which circle of hell that came from but uh i really don't care and i'm not going to try to learn <laughs> how, to, how to fix it all right so more subsurface i'm just saturating on the mid-tone and then the same color just on the legs so you'll see how washed out it was before and then do something else with the body like do something maybe a red tattoo of some kind I'm just spitballing um, just anything would have been really cool to break the color palette and uh, and give us something interesting to look at other than just really plain pale skin you could have given her some kind of scar or some kind of something I'm not sure I didn't put it on a separate layer. Let me get it on color. You know, anything to break up the, the design. It doesn't even have to be a born ass tattoo like I did. It can be something better. Saturated the eyeballs as well. So let's take a look at the before and after. It's a lot of pieces to look at today. This is all the pieces that I have to look at. So I might not do every single one this thorough. But just to at least have an educational experience for one of them. So before after again with the legs is that the, the, I'm just trying to fix this boring shape you could have done something way better with the legs to help her read and the curvature came from just bringing in the waistline but also the fact that I bent the legs inward which made the hips more a little bigger hair is amazing um, people have already commented on it on the, in the stream chat it looks beautiful i love what you did with it it kind of looks like a dragon that's so cool <clears throat> good job beautiful work all right next up is this one this one looks i just love the bow design it's like circular and something about it is very aztec i know you were trying to be original but it seems like you went for this really cool shape this really cool design which reminds me a lot of Westworld. Um, you didn't need to have these uh, like really simplistic, almost cheaply shaped shark fin claw tooth things. Did not need them. They were not doing anything. This is actually really cool. And all you had to do was just put the arrow in hand, you know, somewhere so that we could see that this is meant to be. Where's the arrow, by the way, you guys? Well, some of you guys don't have the arrows attached. Um, and that we could have interpreted this as a, uh, as a, as a bow. Um, you don't always need a string, uh, but it could have been cool if you added the string just to help the, few, the viewer along, but you didn't have to have it. Um, I think we would eventually put two and two together. <clears throat> For the, um, the, the the electricity you could have done something different with that as well these are very simple shapes for electricity like you think of how 
sporadic and crazy it is. And you got the shape right. It reads as that, but that's not enough. Um, this looks like a gesture shoe, jester's shoes. And I, though they're well done, they really don't match. Unless I'm wrong, and this was a very common type of shoe back in the day. Um, they, they, I just feel like they don't match her design. Um, for the gesture, it's, it's also very simple. Um, everything is kind of like equally spaced. It's kind of like a Barbie doll that you just gestured to take a certain shape. So what I want to do is take some risks here and move everything so that the arm, oops, the arm is doing something else and the bow is like a little bit closer to her head and the arm is as well. So that way this arm is doing something a little different from this one. Okay. I'm lost a little bit here, but I'll probably bring it back in a second. Um, and then the bow is now in a different curve, so I want to fix that. So I want the bow perfectly around her. So now you have this really cool upward part of a teardrop shape, so I'm thinking shapes, so, son of a bitch. Um, so I'm thinking something like this. And so we want to bring her legs in together. And so in the end, what we have is a character who is, you know, whose legs are standing like that. And one, one foot is moving this way, one foot is moving, so very poised. And then, you know, the arm, or the head would be here, the arm would move this way, holding up this, this, weapon which is really cool the design is pretty cool and then one hand kind of like behind doing you know nothing really so that's the that's the gen and that's why I'm saying to you guys please explore gestures because you're gonna end up with some really cool varieties and so for the arm I'm just gonna take it off take this straighten the arm which surprisingly is more interesting than the bent arm this way because you you really do run the risk of this really boring barbie doll uh proportion you know what i mean by barbie right how the barbie's arms look like <laughs> you know like i don't know why the barbie's legs are like that but the barbie's arms look like this that's kind of what it looks like and having a, a character with two you know, free hanging arms actually looks more realistic than that because we're just the symbol of the Barbie arms does this. <laughs> What's wrong with Barbie? Um, and then I'm going to straighten the arm, put it behind her, and she's kind of just letting the other arm rest. And then I'm going to drag that shoulder down to make it look like we have this kind of gesture to the torso, right? So the arm is lower. Okay, so the arm should be behind the thigh area. Okay, <clears throat> merge down, merge down, I'll fix everything in a bit. And then I'm going to push out her chest, give her a bit more of that athletic kind of straight spine or athletic spine shape and then drag that shoulder down a touch and just raise the shoulder up okay and then um, what I could do is leave the skirt alone but just move around the, le the legs so this leg will be like that this foot will be like that and this thigh 
will be like this. And she's kind of taking like a forward step of some kind. Um, okay. And so I have to just clean up under. And so these two legs look a little bit more like the statue of a, a Greek god or something like that. The feet are kind of tiny. I'll fix those in a second. Mm, there's layers. Okay, and then you'll see the before, you'll see what was happening with those legs. It was actually pretty boring. Again, it's, it's another example of what you guys are doing with the lower body every time you design characters and what this challenge does. What all masterpieces do is they reveal to you what you haven't done properly um, and that reveals what you need to study next because it's just a very, very obvious um, example of, of what you've just pretty much neglected for a very long time. So I'm only making the legs, I mean this looks cool too, um, but it's just again to make it seem like we have this really cool shape, you know? So it, it looks a little bit like you know, something else, uh, uh, or, or trying to break the circle so you have a triangle and a circle, which is also cool that you've got you know, a triangle this way and a circle that way, which I think looks a little bit more divine. Um, uh, that's all up to uh, that's all opinion at the end of the day um, if, if you don't like it you can always just keep the old legs but I think I was just trying to stay away from that action figure um, look and make her actually look like she's stepping forward and has an active background but I could make a case about anything so you feel free to do what you want in that way everything else you have to do what I do I'm um, just a little bit confused as to how to patch this up. Alright, um, colors and all of that, I really recommend uh, figuring out what which color is the most important, the blue of the electricity or the, um, or the green of her shirt, because one needs to really be more saturated than the other. Everything is so equally saturated in this case. And that electrical current that you had really wasn't doing you any favors either. So what I want to do is just show you that you could, um, that you could uh, do something else with the colors. I love that jade color. I think I do describe in the brief that it was a very jade-like color. Do I? Does anybody remember? I think I do mention that it's Jade. <clears throat> but let me keep the color you did. So I'm going to bring in that glow. I did, I do recall saying the glow of the magic and a very mysterious otherworldly glow it was a very Jade color. Okay. I did say that there's an otherworldly glow to it, right? An other kind of worldly technology. So, so let me just, um, correct the color a little bit because I think it's a very important uh, metal for or not sorry a precious no it's not a precious uh, what is it a rock precious rock what are they called like jade and and all that it's a rock right precious material anyway um so that might help you kind of pick a better color and then the green would just be a green closer to blue for the dress so that they can at least match. Um, that's all color talk. At the end of the day, color shouldn't decide the painting. That's why I never really care about exact color and all that. As long as things match, as long as you know you're not picking a green from closer to yellow and a blue closer to, uh, or a green closer to blue or just a sky blue, 
you want to pick stuff that's more neighboring uh, precious stone yeah uh, right stone sounds nicer yeah <laughs> so uh, so that was important to the Aztec culture so you want to use a lot of that color as well especially if you're kind of creating something um, that's based off an actual existing culture which is what we're doing in patreon right now on the apprentice uh, discord um, I'm assigning um, uh, designs from a, a, a specific culture or historical civilization or something like that and we're doing a unique spin on everything but you still have to base a lot of the designs off the existing culture or else you're just inventing a whole new thing um so that might be something you want to look into oh but uh, let's look at the before and after i think the head shape is also pretty small here as well um which makes all your characters look abnormally tall or like skyrim npc skyrim npcs um if you guys have noticed that the reason why Skyrim NPCs look they do the way they do is because they're just so tiny. The head is so tiny compared to the body, or like the starting character for Dark Souls Three. Um, <laughs> it's just so weird. The body is so huge compared to the 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 head. I just thought that was always funny. Everyone's got this broad chest, looking like Kylo Ren. So the head is a bit bigger because she seems a bit shorter now, which is nicer. Um, and I think that, I think that, you know what I mean when I say action figure, do you guys know what I mean? It just looks a bit simplistic and basic. It just looks like the same bend in the arm, just tilted upward. Um, you want to try different, you know, different stuff for both arms. They're so flexible. You've got a joint here, joint here, and joint here. Um, the arm moves and, and there's, you do a lot more with your arm than you know. When I was young, I did a lot of drama in school, and we used to get filmed, and I used to look at my, like, the me on camera, and I say, I did not intend for my arms to do that. I didn't even know my arms were doing that. The arm is so expressive, way more expressive than we understand, um, and what we know about ourselves. So when you're designing and, 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 and building gestures, and your arms look exactly the same, it just looks so freaky to me, because I, the, our human body is really expressive really flexible and you want to you know take advantage of that because if you don't it just looks unnatural maybe your arms are flexible if you have functioning arms you know what i'm talking about <laughs> unless you don't have arms or you have some kind of issue with your joints i'm sorry um let's look at this one uh i like the design for this one it reminds me of uh road to el dorado I like the colors, but it's not finished, so there's not much I can say. I like the stance. It looks very, like it's a wall painting. Um, uh, there's not, so you're not really relying too much on gesture, but the gesture works. Um, but imagine, imagining this as a league splash, I feel like it could have done something a little bit more um, organic with the gesture um instead of just this again it's like the same arm mirrored on the other side uh so you could have done something where i'm gonna do just really quick changes here and jump on to the next one i love the hairstyle i fucking love it it's like what i imagined but i never knew i was imagining that do you guys know what i mean so this it would this would be the gesture you're doing and you have a really cool back leg front leg that's fine this arm could have been a bit more behind her, so we could have seen that the breasts move this way. Do you see what I'm saying? So the breasts are pointing this way, the legs are pointing this way, so that's that's already cool. Obviously, it's not a perfect side view, I'm just exaggerating it. And the arm could have done, uh, you know, a very straight outward motion, and then you could have done that perfect bow shape. You could have also gone for a much bigger bow kind of like a crescent or something bigger like that so you can you know break it up a little bit um and, and actually have something cut through whenever you have a t-shape of any kind in a gesture it looks super super cool when you have a downward motion and a motion in another direction on either way this cross is very very healthy it's very happy in a gesture um if you have this if you have this it's very boring um, if it's just, you know, you're, if you have a square shape over a square shape over a square shape, it's very boring. Uh, but if you break things up and create patterns, have things overlap, it looks pretty cool. So in this case, the shape is that, which looks actually wonderful, um, versus just this and this, uh, which is very boring. Boring. It just looks like something beside another thing. 
Um, so making the bow a little bit bigger and one arm is down this way, one arm is straight out, um, might actually look a little bit more, actually way less similar than that. Um, you have one arm that way and one arm straight, just making them look a little bit different. <clears throat> um, the breathing room is great, uh, but yeah, I'd love for you to finish this one. Um, let's move on. This one's very, very finished. Uh, and I love what you did with the, the environment. So good job. God damn you guys, when you do stomachs, so for some reason you guys render them as if the stomach has cartilage under it. Look at how much better it looks just allowing the stomach to be fleshy. And if you're talking about a female, fine, if she's athletic, you can go for that. Uh, but look up some abs. Look up actual abs. Not a line, not something you think abs do. Because most of the time, abs are very, very asymmetrical. And they have, like, very, very light indication. So we looked at abs last time, and one of the artists, one of the people who posted something, actually did a great stomach. They just did a very simplified, minimally rendered stomach, which always looks very, very acceptable but when you guys go for that full line it's like there's some kind of membrane underneath or a cartilage line underneath which makes no sense <clears throat> um i also think the belly button is in the wrong spot let me give it a quick test yep it is so i'm just gonna fix it and kind of just tuck it up as if the stomach is a little bit more flat Cool design but it seems like the background is just as saturated as she is which is kind of throwing off um, the the design it feels very very overwhelming so I'm going to desaturate a little bit and if the light is behind her what does that mean and I'm going to saturate her so that should help us up right away help us out and um, I'm going to desaturate the stomach just a touch. Silhouette, exactly. So I'm just going to get a really simple uh, value here, put it on darken layer, and I'm just going to throw her in a silhouette. So your environment now, so what is prominent in an environment? The light environment. And so you can't just have, um, you know, the character as illuminated as they would be in a, in a character design lineup because they get to have whatever light environment they want. They don't have to incorporate with a background, but if they have a background, the background becomes the god of the image because it's related directly to the sun and the light of the world around them. So what's bigger, the character or the world? The world is bigger than they are. The earth is bigger than they are. And so they automatically have to follow the laws of the land, which is, in this case, the sun is behind her, the light is um, illuminating through her clothes and so it, you, it would benefit you actually to do that because it makes it look more realistic it's not eclipsing the character the, the character is still there it's to chill the character is still there they're, they're not blacked out it's just a very simple silhouette that I'm gonna apply in a second um, that'll help the character actually just fit in with the environment <clears throat> And then those that glow in the eyes will benefit as well. If the character is a little bit more silhouetted. Um, if the character is not in a silhouette, um, if the light is coming from above them, which is not good um, because the, the sun is on a hemisphere, I'm sure. So it's, you know, actually it's directly above them in uh, in that part of the world. So... I would say that you know you could do something with that's a little bit more intense. So let me show you by intense uh, what I mean. It means that the whites have hit pure white. It's like the sun is in such a spot that the whites are like purely white now. So you can get light environments like this where the contrast is so strong. We get those white lines. This is exaggerated in a very simple version of it. And I am using nasty dodge tool. That's not right. There we go. But this kind of white will help make sense of all that light you're trying to emulate. And please bear with me. I know that this is intense. 
but you know what I'm referring to? It's just a really strong light. I remember this from the upgraded Jana Splash from League. Um, if you've ever played that game, it's not very popular. I'm not even sure if you've heard about it. But uh, they do that. Right? So this is a very, very simplified version of it. But uh, just to show you, you have this option if you don't want to do this silhouette. And I'm going to desaturate the side. Every single area I messed with just now. Don't remind me, I might reinstall. <laughs> I mean, I play it, but I play it like once, you know, once in a while. Um, I, I don't know how some people just continuously play it because it's such a strenuous game and it's not very satisfying so I imagine the people that are addicted to League don't actually play other games um, you guys need to feel the thrill of playing other types of games so that you could get a better idea of how little League offers it's just a, like a spontaneous single instance battleground arena like it's not um, it's not a uh, it's not story driven or anything like that. So if you do have League Addiction, I dare you to download a really, really cool, like Ori in the Blind Forest Part 2. Download it, learn how to play it, because you'll feel this part of you get fed that League will never feed. And that, that's like an instant cure for League Addiction. So there's this explaining where all the light is coming from, from the top right, um, top left or right. And then we're going to throw a simple glare. And this, I think it looks better because it's like a moment. I like the drama of the extreme light too. Uh, but remember, you do have the option of a silhouette behind her with the glow behind her. So I'll show you both options. Both are, are really cool for an intro. You know, a silhouette coming down and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and extreme light coming down are both very nice. And so for the silhouette, you have really cool chance to make the dress glow as well a little bit. And then you have a lot of light behind her. So I'm just going to throw a bunch of light behind. Excuse me. Just like that. Um, so you've got, you've got two really, really cool options for that. I'm not going to thoroughly render this like a regular critique hour just because um, I don't have time to do that for each one. So it's, it's really a toss up. Uh, burn tool on midtones. And I'm going to darken her just a little bit more. And now you get all this cool light shining through her arm. Um, coming from the light behind, you've got a cool subsurface shining through the feathers. You've got light coming in through the shirt behind her, uh, through the dress. Um, yeah, so you get a, a, a lot of chat. And then you got that cool rim light around the hair, which is always really fun. And then a lot of light through the hair as well and saturation. So two really cool options. I think this one, that's why I'm telling you, this one feels more dynamic because it's a, you don't know she's there yet kind of thing. And she's just descending and she's, she's slowly emerging, which has more drama, believe it or not, than the fully exposed version, which is just, I'm here and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> um, but uh but it, it, it's, it just depends on what you think. Both are fine. We've seen both in like a, you know, a, a really cool um, comic book splash or a comic book cover um, of people, you know, like a, like a very divine lighting scenario is having the light behind her. Yeah. Um, this one is really, really effing cool, but it's also got very simple designs. So it's what we've expected out of a design like this. It's what we expect to see. We expect a very normal bow. We expect cool arm glowing tattoos. We expect a, a, a skirt and a, like a halter top or a tube top of some kind. You know what I'm saying? So it's very, very well executed, very simplistic 
choices for the design. So something this student would be encouraged to do is just have, I hate Pinterest. I hate Pinterest with a vengeance. I, I hate Pinterest, but go around Pinterest or something, um, Google search, whatever it is you've got to do uh, to expose yourself to a little bit more fashion, a little bit more of that ridiculous fashion. Just see how crazy it gets. It just sink your teeth into some really, really crazy designs. Break them down. Watch some fashion shows. Google it. Like, let me show you what I mean by fashion shows. Like, YouTube is full of resources like you've never seen. Um, what's her name? Weird fashion show. I forget what her name is, but she's got some pretty fucking cool stuff. Okay, I don't mean this. This is just ridiculous. I mean, um, okay, I, I, I don't know who that is and what they're doing. I forget her name, but, um, <laughs> yo, I should have known what I'm looking at. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Unique Fashion Show. Um, god damn it. Uh, what's her name? What's her name? Uh, she does these really cool textiles. She makes them herself. They look super... Oh, yeah, there it is. Iris, Iris Van Harpen. Uh, super popular and really, really freaking cool fabrics that she hand makes. Um, and just, just look, this is what I mean by, like, fill your brain with new ideas, new types, new takes on... This isn't, this isn't a still shot. She actually tried to build a piece of fabric that looked like suspended water. This is a dress. Um, so yeah, they explain it in the, in, the, in the documentary about how she, how she basically went in and look at that. She's melting plastic and shaping it to look like water, which is really freaking cool. So if you've ever wondered like how to fill your brain with new ideas, there's, it's just everywhere. It's all around you. So a simple skirt, and a simple tube top is not enough to convince me she ascended into the heavens, was trained by ancient aliens, and came down with a super advanced bow and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a and a prosthetic arm. And the aliens could only come up with this. Um, like, this looks like her grandma made it for her, God bless her soul. But, um, you know, if you're thinking like aliens dressed her in what they think is fitting a princess... Of the peoples who worship this ancient species of alien you know what I mean like there's so much more you could expand your mind with and really um, go somewhere else you know with your with your designs like that's really freaking cool like it looks like bird feathers so this could have been her little thing attached to her chest plate I'd get rid of the skirt and just keep that and oh look a reference is right there in front of you in different angles um, it's not hard and a Google search sometimes doesn't help. So you have to expand your mind outside of your field of study and look for, look for, um, a, a, a neighboring field of creativity that isn't necessarily art. So fashion is our neighbor. Uh, fashion designers are very similar to us. Um, they just express themselves by dressing people up in as the way we dress up our characters and uh, that's their canvas as a human body. The figure is the canvas, and that's what they're dressing people with. And each each fashion is a character design. Each dress is a character design in its own way. It's got an idea. It's got an emotion it wants to invoke, and it's got a silhouette it wants to promote. So, you know, it's, it's oh, wow, look at that headdress. That's pretty freaking cool. Uh, you guys could have done something like that, you know? So just just, you know, consider it. <clears throat> Gotta jot this name down for the next challenge. Iris Van Harpen. <clears throat> I'm talking like I knew who she was. So that's that's pretty much all I have to say about this cool gesture. She looks like she's standing very athletic, very heroic. Um, hair is nondescript, really. What's happening with the legs is nondescript. Um, simple bow design. Uh, so it's painted well. It's done well. Some of the best you know, control over color. We've seen an actual bow that glows this time with the right colors. You honored the story very, very well, but um, remember, it's your take on it. So there was a lot that I didn't describe on purpose. Um, 
that headdress is just driving me crazy right now. I kind of want to just do a little quick sketch of of that character and, and uh, just see, you know, what, what I could do as well. Another example of a really small head shape. Um, so. I don't know what it is with you guys and the small head. I really need to do a class on just how to do that. <laughs> it's eight heads down. Four for upper waist and four for lower waist. And that's, that looks like it's a bit more than uh, five, uh, four. It's usually the, the basic average. Okay, so saturation is a bit too high. Um, so I would bring it down to like that at least and you're doing the whole white glow thing which actually looks great but I feel like you've placed it in the wrong areas um, so we need a cast shot there's hair and an arm blocking this part of the light uh, but you've probably you've made it one of the brightest areas we would not miss it if you just darken this area right here focus it on, on what we do see in the in the picture I feel like you guys are really afraid of letting anything touch the face that is not 100% symmetrical. Like, you could do this and nothing's wrong with it. If the light is on her face, it's on her face. Stop worshipping the portrait so much that you miss out on a lot of opportunities to um, do something dramatic or something interesting. Excuse me. All right. I've gotten to the age where I don't care what kind of burps or hiccups I have. I used to go back and edit every single one. I'd watch the whole class back in my like early 20s because I'd just be so insecure. Oh my god, they heard me, they heard me burp. Oh my god, it's going to be so like, I'm going to be so embarrassed. They're going to think of it and they're going to remember my burp and they're going to think I'm ugly. No, I don't care. God, I'm just like an old man with his balls out. <clears throat> All right, so okay. um, I'm going to just add a little bit more. Look at how dramatic that looks. And you guys, you guys are hostage here. You guys can't really do anything because there's nobody else teaching on YouTube the way I do. So y'all are stuck with my first <laughs> guttural sounds. So you just have to deal with it. fixing some of that fuzziness. This is what happens in your 30s. <laughs> um, so I'm bringing in all that white light, which somehow could reach this area, but it couldn't reach this. Come on. Actually, that was fine before. All right, so I'm just doing that same thing over again. Hair really is not that important for it to be over and overflowing into the arm, which is designed by these super advanced alien gods. And and for some reason, her hair is just, it has to be in the way. No, all right? Push it in the back. It's freaking arm. You spent hours designing it, and you're just going to hide it? All right, so this, this dress is all the way out, catching lots of light. So just let it get some light. <clears throat> Y'all are saying you didn't hear anything and didn't notice my burps, but secretly <laughs> you're lying to spare my feelings. You guys are hearing like HD, like Yeti sound, sound uh, quality. Anyway, um, might be a cast shadow, which is really cool to try to execute on on the bow from her person so uh select inverse it might be worth a shot just to cast a shadow of some kind just so not all of it is glowing or just the very top is glowing so um Weird fact, but I'm, I'm asking you guys for thoughts and prayers because I am might do a surgery very soon, to, you know, for all the stuff you guys have heard about in the past, about my back and all that stuff. So, so pray for me, y'all. 
pray for me, I need it. A little bit of glowing there. And it might be very soon. It might be a very soon surgery. But it should like pretty much cure my whole just my whole life. Is pretty much the reason behind all of my issues. Um, I'm kind of scared, to be honest, but uh, which is why I was at the doctor's why I was late today. But um, I'm very excited to have a life of no pain. I'm very excited about that prospect. A little bit more light since this leg has left the shadow of the other one. Maybe a bit too much light on the cheek, but I don't really care since you know we're benefiting so much from the sh from the from the light. <clears throat> Some light on the breast area, definitely more light on the the chest piece. And you need to do something interesting with that chest. Enlarge it. It's too large. Keep going. You know, it it's something must happen that we've have not seen before. So this looks like the same as before. You know, the the typical little skirt with the thing and the thing and the that and and I want to see something we have not seen before something that would read you know something that would look really 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 cool from like a distant shot um something like that I feel like we haven't seen before or maybe like cut up like this and then an extra bit here and there um the feathers look wonderful but I've never seen feathers that point down versus point up so you could do something like that where they kind of wrap around her head whatever you think is normal and acceptable go further than that go crazy you know like do something that nobody else has really done before and I know that's asking for a lot but to be honest with you that's your job that's what you just you know that's what you signed up for you signed up for this People go to you for your ideas now. People will go to you to come up with cool um, cool versions of things, uh, original versions of things. You've got no excuse if you're saying, I, I'm being asked for too much or this is, I'm not that original. You need to be looking at fashion design. You need to be looking at uh, like like different things you've never looked at before, like, like futuristic, um, like it's like science fiction but on a way other level you you're you're the person who people will go to for cool ideas and if you can't come up with them this isn't your job this isn't your field of practice then now, i know that's not enough to deter any artist from not being an artist so yeah, i know you're up for the challenge all right so stuff like that um i'm gonna wrap it around a little bit more snug And it's just kind of wrapping around. Maybe that's too much. And then just like getting a much smaller set of feathers sitting at the top. Just something different from just the random little thing that you had before. Just like a downward flow or maybe all together taking the whole thing and, uh, and and moving it down this way so it's like on the side of her head instead, which is something we've also never seen before. Just coming out of the air, uh, out of the ears and the hair into, into and then lower into the, the area. Just something different, something unique. Oops. <clears throat> Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for the prayers, you guys. Yeah, I hope so too. I hope it just, I hope everything is behind me. You know, after that, I hope it's just all over. I've been talking about this since 2017. It's a stupid back issue, which is linked to it. So, yeah, I'm hoping. And one thing you want to do, and I've failed to mention it so far, is that you want to start, um, you want to do something where the whole, the whole thing, the whole, illustration if you want to do one last test before you submit something before you move into rendering at whatever stage this this test is amazing you probably know what I'm gonna say is to silhouette the whole thing Oops. so like inverse silhouette the whole thing does it look interesting what's popping out at you that you just don't like the hair mound right 
there's no breathing room here. So it feels like there should be some kind of breathing room. Um, how about the headdress? What can you do that's cool? For me, I think like a cool thing coming out of the sides like that, or maybe like a crown. That looks pretty cool, and, and it's kind of detailed without being detailed. Just the crown itself, does it, has, it doesn't have to be fully rendered. It can be minimally rendered, um, and that looks pretty cool. Maybe a couple more this way. Um, maybe one one more little anchor here, or, or like 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 little symmetrical thing. Um, we can also just have none. The, the shoes could have a bit more like like some feathers or some extra designs, something to break apart the piece. This looks super boring, it looks super basic. Um, so what can you do with the bow that could be a little different? Um, it could be like pieced together. One thing I haven't seen yet is a bow that's made of fragmented floating parts. That's really, really freaking cool. Like it's got like floating areas that aren't really attached to each other, they're just like floating in zero gravity, but they work together to deliver like a stream of energy. That's pretty cool. Um, so that hair though, it's very nice. You could have with the silhouette seen that it's way too, bu too bulky and you could have done something like that design from earlier, just have the hair. Um, you know, that's how long she spent in the celestial plane that her hair grew very, very long and she's kind of braided it and it's kind of just wrapped around her in that way. <clears throat> Moving on, um, this one is also linked to this one, which is the same artist, I think. And holy crap, this 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 uh, gesture is amazing. Asymmetrical arms, cool walking legs, cool ass bow, like holy crap. I don't know why you opted for this gesture. It's cool, she's dragging the, you know, she's pulling out the arrow, but this one is like crazy good. So I'm going to take the part I love the most about that one. And I'm just going to uh, super cool design too, because you've got a thin part and a bulky part. It's not like bulky on bulky, which is what I talked about last time. Um, one thing you need to do is work on your portraits. Like, like you, the, I don't know why you wanted the wide mouth and kind of like old man jowls. But you really broke the beauty with that. Maybe it was the early stage. But considering what you did with the gesture and considering what you did with the design, you've got an eye for unique. And I love what you did like this one, like the like the constellation as part of the arm, which shows that she was ascended into the celestial plane and she's got like like it's so freaking cool. Like I love that. I love how you did constellations. I love that. The idea is so original. And it's it's a dime a dozen an artist who can draw something well. But it really is very rare finding an artist that can uh, that can reintroduce a concept to you like that. Um with such finesse and stuff. So I'm very, very proud of that. I kind of like the blue colors on this one though. I really like the color palette here. I feel like that red really isn't doing much for us. Um, I can't mimic everything that you did here for the for the paint over. Love the hairstyle, super cool, super simple. I love a high ponytail because it's very athletic. It looks Amazonian. Um, I don't like the the chest plate, uh, the, the 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 fabric, and I don't like this one either. It looks like a cheap prom dress. Um, so what you could do is the necklace looks wonderful. You could give us something that's a little bit more unique for the uh, for the for the fabric. So you could have done for the for the chest piece um, or the whatever it's called. Um, you could have done something like feathers, which is obviously inspired by what we just saw in the fashion show thing. Um, I think that looks pretty intimidating as well, kind of like a bird that's fluffed up its feathers, so you're kind of scared of it, and that creates this little necklace which mimics that as as like a very very like you know linked i love the walking don't understand the shadow i know this wasn't your last post i know that this was not the piece you handed in um but i, I still prefer this one i think this is the better one um you don't really need the trailing light it's overrated just let everything else do its thing 
Um, but amazing job. Amazing job. Like, I, I love the way she was standing. You don't want to lose the, the shape of the body because you've got this, like, lean. You've got this, like, high attitude lean, which I love. <clears throat> um, what's happening here? Wrong color. All right. Love this one. I just, I'm not sure why your portraiture skills are so lacking, um, but everything else is so well thought out. So you see, you have a lot of, you're gifted. You have a lot of that in you. You're, you're just, I think you have done a lot in one direction. So you've seen a lot of unique stuff. You put in a lot of thought and you probably have a great imagination. Um, but, but your portraiture skills are way behind and not worthy of your imagination at the moment. So you need to raise those up. And it's not an impossible thing. I'm not describing to you something you don't, you are not capable of doing in this life. You know, I'm, I'm describing a skill that you could easily pick up with a 14-day challenge. So you can understand the ins and outs and what makes or breaks a portrait, especially from this zoom out. Like a simple quick fix for the valley sharing on the side of the nose. Oops. and the cheekbones and a little bit of blending on the cheekbones and I have challenges upon challenges for 14 day like 14 day critiques on my community that you have everything you need at the moment to embark on a 14 day challenge right so very very simple changes that do make all the difference for the beauty from a distance it's not, oh, she was unique and I wanted her to look like that. No, you didn't. You didn't want her to look like a 40-year-old man stuck in a 30-year-old, 70-year-old uh, man's body, but only in the portrait. That's not what you in intended. You intended to have a beautiful, godly, Artemis, huntress-looking woman that has a very um, striking beauty to her, but, you know, nothing too curved or feminine or baby-like or or or, um, or pretty. Uh, she's not pretty. She's beautiful. She's striking. Um, and to, in order to have that, you need a little bit more of the beauty triangle. You can keep the squared head because that helps with that athletic feel. Um, and definitely get rid of the jowls. Color. My cat snoring. Her snoring is so cute. All right. You were so busy with school, so I try to allocate some time for next time. Um, so whose was this? Was this yours, Daniel? Who's who's one? Who's this? Who's is this? Right, and then cheekbones there, and then a little bit of no, that's not yours. Okay, who's is this? Who is? Are they here today? All right, a little bit of anger in the eyebrows. Mr. you reviewed mine, it wasn't the final one. When you reviewed mine, it wasn't the final one. Um, is it very different from the one you posted? Um, so I'm just giving a little bit more sternness to the face there. A little bit more anatomy knowledge would also go a long way for you. Um, you kind of have like a very simple belly button, which needs uh, just, just a simple reference would have gone a long way as well. <clears throat> Love the way she's standing. I just can't get over it. This might be a bit simple, you know, it might be a bit pretty. The feathers, please do something. Feel free to do something else. Like it can do, it doesn't even have to stick out that far. It could be something very, uh, very, you know, in, 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 uh, in sync with what you're, what you've already de decided on. So it can be a very simple top shielded layer that also still has the bird motif, but, um, But like, you know, any, anything else, just as long as it's not just fabric, because it just feels like she's a maid or like a servant, you know, it seems like a very basic gown. You need to give her something that defines her as both royalty and like uh, anointed with strength and stuff like that. Um, moving on. Uh, whoa, am I done? Done, 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 done. Done, done. Oh, <laughs> I'm done. Um, I think I'm done. Let me do a triple double check. Uh, Odd Sloth. 
done and i love the like the way you guys have like this is some this is what i want to see this was beautiful Ooh, this one's nice i love the square i like this one is this the one you ended up picking um i love to see the work you guys did so you guys did excellent work it was a requirement um i like this shape here oh i love those feathers you know me um that i like this one very much maybe a thinner arm for the like this little area of a much thinner one because it's nice to combine thin with bulky uh i love the work you guys did silhouettes that's great um so it explains why you had such a great gesture for the standing figure um so ria definitely look into into um uh fashion you know different fashion stuff Ooh, cool designs for the arm i love when you guys have floating stuff i think you picked this one yeah you did really cool love this stuff i like this one it kind of feels like i can hear it working like it's like a steam engine like i can hear stuff firing off and this one i can like hear the buzz or hum of the electric or gravity thing i love when i can just hear the 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 design like understand how it might animate actually i can't get over how cool and aztec this one looks i love the square bulky shapes really feels like i'm looking at wall art um so you went with the circular one even though none of these were circular interesting but yeah you should be trying different gestures not just different um designs in your in your uh, in your sketch so you see how you already went for the feathered top part and then you went for an even curvier part you should have just made one of them a simple square and combined it alongside a very curvy thing that way each complements the other without looking like halfway towards the other so these are the steps but where your um where are your parts? Different bow designs would have definitely helped you. So if you didn't do different bow designs, you most likely had a boring bow. <clears throat> right? So that's why we do them, to get them out of the way, to get the dirty design or gross design out of our system so that it makes way for the cool designs to happen. Because if you just see it done in front of you, you'll actually... Um, You'll actually just get sick of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Um, and then move on from it and try something different. So I like the joints in this one. Kind of looks steampunkish, uh, but I don't like how it's you know the same thing repeated three times. So maybe this area could have been a little bit thinner. Oh, and one of them used Portrait Studio. That's pretty cool. Remember, it's alien technology. It's like a super different, like a different technology than what we usually see. Still love this one. I love this design. It's so unique. Probably the best one we've seen. Combining bulky with thin and Aztec culture, and it looks futuristic and alien. Beautiful. All right. No designs for this one or experimentation with the bow. And we talked about how this one's gesture isn't that great beautiful submissions you guys did amazing for this challenge way more submissions than i expected equal to what we had last time in dedication and quality i love them thank you for participating um to join our discord i mean to join our reddit go to isterback.com and click on the reddit icon here and to submit for future challenges it's all in the reddit everything happens on the reddit if you want to support on Patreon, if you learned something today and want to give back, there are different price tiers you can support with, even if you support for $1. Um, if everybody does that, we, we kind of have like a, a collective power behind the behind the, the community that isn't straight too straining on everyone's financial situation. But I even understand that if even a dollar is more than what you can provide, that's perfectly fine. It's a pro bono class. It's for everyone who wants to learn something and tune in. It helps populate the, the, the channel, so that's fine too. Um, Portrait Studio will be on sale come May or um, a little bit earlier than May, around April. Um, because I, it's just, uh, I have like three sale seasons in a year. I haven't done one for this year. 
there was one ending off from last year into January. But come spring, it will go down in price again. Um, and that's it. Thank you everyone for joining today. I'll see you guys on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Like, I just want to say I loved what you guys posted and I hope the next challenge inspires you the way this one did. I might do a villain challenge. I might do another cool weapon, ancient weapon design challenge. So bringing in, you know, uh, as, uh, not Aztec culture, like ancient cultures, um, to create uh, new ideas, but also teach you about different cultures. You, you're an artist. You need to know about fashion and history and science, and you need to know about everything. Um, so uh, it, it's not an enclosed uh, uh, art, not at all. So those challenges kind of open up uh, uh, your mind and expose you to different things that you would never have even looked at or stumbled upon had you not attempted the challenge. And that's what I want the community to offer you. Um, again, I loved what you guys did for this one. Thank you for participating. You guys are amazing, and I hope the winner um, enjoys their rewards, and look out for the poll for the community winner. All right, I'll see you guys on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Bye-bye.